Dr. Melmond has a new book that is out in just a few days uh, that is called Autism and the Extended Family. So Dr. Melmond, uh, talk to us a little bit about why you decided to write this book now. We know as autism families how important this book is, but why did you decide to take the time to write this now? Huh. Well, um, you know, I've been in practice a long time and I've seen different treatments come and go and different excitements and breakthroughs in autism come and often disappoint us. The one thing which has always been constant in my mind has always been the impact on the family. The family is so central. You know, for so long, doctors thought that the world revolved around the doctor. And it took us a while to recognize, no, no, the, the family, and the mother and the father are is the essential pivot in the constant in the child's life. And that's why we talk about family-centered treatment. But there hasn't been much focus on what the family are actually supposed to be doing. What do they go through? How do they feel? How do they relate to the normal siblings? How, do they, how does the mother relate to her own sister who might have typical children? What kind of jealousies might there be? What kind of problems might there be or benefits might there be from having grandparents around, either close or far apart? What do they tell their friends? What do they tell their cousins? What's supposed to be happening? And I feel that I spend more and more time at the time of follow-up visits discussing that aspect. Because I'm so convinced that a healthy family and family first is the most important aspect in a child's life in determining the outcome for that child. Of course the treatments are so important. Of course ABA is important. Of course we need to do all the other therapies as well. But if a mother's depressed and doesn't feel supportive, and if a father's absent or missing or not feeling connected to their child, that has an extraordinarily large negative impact on the child's outcome. And making sure that the parents are together and comfortable and supported is absolutely key. And that brought me around to saying, well, I've got to figure out and put it down on paper what I say to parents, how they can utilize the wonderful resources that might well be around them. And then ask them, answer the question. Sometimes a grandmother might come and say, Doctor, do you mind if I come into the visit? And then she'll grab me on the side and say, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to show how I'm supposed to relate to my child, let alone my grandchild. And then the aunt's visiting and the uncle's visiting from out of town, and then they get invited to Thanksgiving and the child is in meltdown, and everybody says, we don't know how to relate, and the mother might say, and I'm not going to participate in these kind of events anymore, and she withdraws, and the family questions about what's going on. These are incredibly poignant issues that I think definitely need to be addressed. And it's not just the immediate family, the mother, the father, and the brother. It's the extended family, the grandparents, the aunts and uncles, the step parents, the cousins, the family friends who just might want to do something for their child, for their, this child that they know and love. So when you know and love a child with autism, what are you supposed to do? Hopefully the answer will be in this book. I very much enjoy writing it from that perspective. Well, I can't wait for the book to come out. I'm almost in tears hearing you talk about this because I think for so long, my son is 12 now, and for so long it felt like a battle that for autism parents, we were trying to get people to talk about our children with autism as the whole child instead of just looking at the autism symptoms, but looking at their whole health and treating them as a whole person, not just a person with autism. But you have really hit the nail on the head that we need to look at this as a whole family issue because... I guarantee you we get parents who write in all the time about how, you know, maybe there's one person in the family that isn't on board with the treatment and how that becomes the thing that has to be overcome before anything else can happen or what it's like, as you said, because people are going to come and visit and the things that we look forward to in life, things like the get togethers, the celebrations and the holidays and things like that have that extra added stress because nobody knows what their role is. Nobody knows what they're supposed to do. And unfortunately, I think when nobody knows what to do and there's no set social rules, sometimes you have chaos. So I'm thrilled that you wrote this book. We're absolutely so excited about it. Again, this is a Future Horizon book. We want to uh, encourage people to uh, get this book and your other book, which is early Autism Early Intervention Fast Facts, but this one is Autism and the Extended Family. You can go to www.fh. 
autism.com. So that stands for Future Horizon. Now, do we know the actual launch date of the book, Dr. Melman? Um, I, I think it's within the next three weeks that uh, hopefully the book will be uh, hot in our hands, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'm looking forward to seeing it as well. We want to say again that you are the director of the Melmed Center and that people can find that at www.melmedcenter.com. But you also mentioned uh, another group that you're a part of. Tell us again what that is and where we can find them. That's the Southwest Autism Research Center and that's autismcenter.org. Um, one of the wonderful things that they have over there is a grandparents group. And I've learned a lot from that grandparents group to meet regularly. I meet so many grandparents who ask me, what should I be doing? Mothers who say, my mother, my own father, they just don't get it. They just think I should thank my child, or they just think that the child is, is fine, it's typical, and why am I making such a fuss? They don't understand why I'm spending so much money, why I'm trying this, why I'm having people coming to my home. And the grandparents are bewildered and wonder what happened to my child. And they're dying to help, and they're not quite sure what to do. And I want to make this really nut and bolt. Granny, Grandpa, this is what specifically do what you can do. This is what you need to learn. This is what you need to understand about what your daughter is going through, what your son is going through, what their stages of mourning and grieving are all about. This is what you need to understand about your particular grandchild, the child that you are dying to spoil and that you somehow cannot interact with and he doesn't want to give you the time of day. This is how you can get through to them in this kind of situation. This is what you can offer them. This is the kind of tasks that you can do for them that your daughter and your son will appreciate so much. So it's very much a nuts and bolts kind of situation. And if you're a cousin or aunt or a friend, this is what you can do as well. So we try and look at very practical issues. How to create, for example, an autism toolkit. So a mother gives the, gives the child over to an uncle and aunt to take over to the beach. This is what they need to have in their little toolkit to make sure that the day is going to be a successful one. Things such as that trying to make it really user-friendly, things that people can take home and use tonight, if not tomorrow. Well, Dr. Malmed, we're so glad that you are on this planet and doing what you're doing and writing about it so that those of us who aren't in the Scottsdale, Arizona, get the benefit, because uh, you're amazing. This is an awesome you. gift that you've That's given the autism community. So again, make sure that you get these two books, Autism Early Intervention, Fast Facts. It's a great thing to have on your bookshelf and a great gift to give to any of your friends who've recently had a child diagnosed. And then everybody needs to get multiple copies of Autism in the Extended Family. What a great stocking stuffer to give everybody who's in your family to get them on the same page. Absolutely wonderful. Both of them from Dr. Rune Melmed from the Melmed Center. And Again, you can get those books at www.fhautism.com. Thank you.